Everybody got excited when Kylie Minogue appeared on stage with Madonna and it went viral. She's had quite, quite a year. Brit Award winner. She's also a Grammy Award winner. As she said, she's going with the flow. She's going to work on new music. But yet everywhere on YouTube and social media platforms alike, she is all over the place and people are dancing. And pandemic and pandemic still and still getting tension from all the other music. And now she's teamed up with an artist that I find very underrated in many ways, but exceptional. Sia and Kylie Minogue. Dance Alone is the title, and I'll give you the meaning in a minute. Dance Alone marks the first time that Kylie and Sia collaborated since Sia worked on Kylie's album, Kiss Me Once. And that was way back in 2014. Imagine, already 10 years ago. The self-empowerment dance pop track will serve as the second single from Sia's up-and-coming album, Reasonable Woman. It's already there, and about, I think it's out for streaming. But I'll put all the links that you need to know in the description. This is translated into 32 languages to give my audience and my channel a chance to enjoy the lyrics as well, as well as dance to the music. Welcome Kylie Minogue with Sia. I know a lot of people said you couldn't beat Madonna, but in my musical estimation and experience of doing collabs, I just think this is phenomenal. I think Madonna will work with Kylie too. I think they'll come out because of the popularity and, and how well that viral video went when Kylie walked on stage to greet Madonna and sing. I think they'll come out with something pretty special. But she's done it with Sia first, and I think it's amazing. Well, not first. Let's just say she's also done it with Sia. I'll correct myself. Delighted. Let's listen. I've got the summary of the lyrics straight after. But I'm super excited to hear this for the first time. Oh. Two of my favorite artists. And I've also got a Sia track that I will link to this for you to check out on my channel as well and my reaction. Oh, Kylie, you just keep giving and giving and giving. And I, I've got a, you know, a feeling that you'll never dance alone. Late night, you and I, post fight, it's my life.
I can't believe it's so short and sweet. I want more, but there's plenty of remixes because believe it or not, that comes from, I'm just going to bring it up and thank you Genius Lyrics as always, Dance Alone remixes of 2024, Sierra and Kylie Minogue. There are nine of them. There's a speed up one, a slow version extended, and there's a Malibu Bab remix or B Babby. Yeah, Babby. Poor Shores remix. There's lots of remixes, so don't, don't miss out. Go on YouTube, look for it, because I'm sure it'll just be better and better and better in all of them. Absolutely short and sweet, but great. But what are the lyrics there about everyone saying? Well, that's what my job's about. In the first verse, Zia sings about a late night encounter where she and her partner have had a disagreement. She exp expresses her desire to move forward and leave the situation behind because the disagreement in the lyrics in front of me says, post flight, it's my life. Now, she expresses that desire to move forward, as I said, and leave that situation behind because in the lyrics it continues, let's roll, there's the door, and establishes her preference for a 4 4 rhythm, which is often associated with dance music, symbolizing intentions to find release through dancing and we saw that so eloquently with Sia's co uh, partner in crime when it comes to dancing and I can't think of the young girl's name and she's just as famous as Sia now but we go into the pre-chorus and it's reflecting a sense of confidence and self-assuredness as Sia watches her partner walk away without fear or hesitation she believes that she doesn't need their presence or approval to be okay and this displays to me a theme of self-reliance and empowerment. The chorus, I Want to Dance Alone, emphasizes that desire to dance alone as a means of personal escape. Now, that can also, everyone, underscore the importance of solitude and individualism. And can also suggest maybe a desire to be free from social expectations, relationships, responsibilities, and to fully immerse oneself in the joy of dancing. When you think of it logically, how many people, hands up, when they get very, very upset, they just go out, they, they feel, okay, I've had enough, I'm super tense, I don't need my girlfriends or I don't need my guy friends, I'm just going to go out and look for music and just lose myself on the dance floor. I've done that many a time and I tell you it's the best mental therapy ever. And I remember one, one time there was a festival on and I must have danced for four and a half hours non-stop just to get the anger and upset over a relationship out of my head. And you know everyone finds their therapy but dance music you don't need to dance alone. You have your happy memories in your head when you're on the dance floor and the music engulfs you. It's just you, that feeling of just feeling loose and free and liberated and at the end of it feeling exhausted, tired for all the right reasons. You got it from the pit of your stomach all the way up out of you and you sweated out the anger. It's a good, good way of doing things. Anyway, the pre-chorus, as I said, with that confidence, that self-assuredness, as I mentioned before, where Sia watched her partner walk away, is tough on anybody. We've all been there. And we have different forms of therapy that help us. But the dancing suggested desire, as I said, to be free from those expectations and responsibilities for a while by just losing yourself and fully immersing yourself in that joy of dancing. So remember, it can help. It's a good way of doing things. Now the post-chorus, this is sung by Kylie and Sia. For me, it's reinforcing the idea of dancing alone as a lifelong pursuit, using that repetition of, in the lyrics it says here, forever, to emphasize the enduring nature of this desire. Now we'll go on to the second verse. Kylie's joining in here, continues the theme of personal freedom, liberation through dance. But the lyrics convey a sense of unbounded happiness and exhilaration. Why do I say that? Because it's symbolized, it's symbolized by the absence of time, because it says no clock, and the indulgence of another shot. And Kylie portrays herself, as you've seen, very 
beautifully done uh, as content but then is not Kylie always content always happy well she's had a hell of a year of it she she might as well continue I'm finally finding her true self well I think Kylie is the comeback queen of all time I put time bomb on my channel only there a couple of days ago and then she dropped this so it's just one of those things that at the time of Time Bomb, it, she was known as the Comeback Queen. And she found her true self. But now since Padam Padam and the Tension album, she's found herself again. And somebody she worked with 10 years ago, Sia, she's collaborated with again. And just keeps coming back, coming back, finding herself. It's like karma keeps opening so many doors at the moment for her. It's incredible. But as she says... And well, not as she said, but as Kylie portrays, you know, her true self, that emphasizes that transformation of dancing alone can bring. It really can. Going to the bridge here, let's see. It's repeating the line, I just want to dance alone. Now, to me, that expresses that determination and resolvement that alone you can overcome the darkness, jump over any hurdles. You've got dancing, you've got a passion, you can just let, as I said, liberate and let go. And it just ex expresses that determination to resolve matters. Okay, what do I think of the lyrics? What do I think of Kylie Sear, all of it? It's an anthem, isn't it? Of personal liberation and self-expression. It's reminding us to prioritise our own happiness and find solace through dance and that self-discovery because once you've sweated an anger out of your system on the dance floor you go home feeling exhilarated you do uplifted you do and it takes a while to come back down and if you turn the negatives into positives and think okay i can move on here you can trust me the song it encourages you to seek personal freedom and embrace some visuality. In other words, when you get on the dance floor and you let loose, who cares what way you dance? You're there for a reason. You're there for you. You're empowering yourself again to move on. And it's all about that. And regardless of societal expectations or the opinions of others, you're just going to allow the music to get into your soul, to reignite a fire for life. That's what I feel it can do. In, in its simplicity, that's what this song does powerfully. It's a relatable message, inviting you and everybody else to find their own inner peace through dancing alone. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Thanks, see you. Thanks, Kylie. Love you both.